I'm really really in love with the newer version of this one as well. It came out in this beautiful shiny dark green crocodile embossed leather. If I find a picture I will put it up here. <laughs> um, and yeah I really really do like that one a lot. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, to my little corner of the internet here where we talk about luxury designer handbags. So today's video has been requested by several different people actually and it is about this beautiful Saint Laurent YSL Uptown pouch. If you haven't seen the review on this bag yet, please go and check that one out. Today we're gonna do a what fits inside my bag video on this very slim little clutch. <laughs> so um, I think in general this bag is Quite popular at the moment and that's why I guess many people are interested in what you can actually fit into this bag. Um, I don't like to stretch my bags out so I'm just gonna give you a realistic idea I think of what fits in here. However one of my friends um, she does have this clutch as well and I mentioned her in my other video as well and she even manages to put two of her smartphones in here. <laughs> so I might try and get her um, on my channel um, in the future and um, then she can show you what she actually manages to fit into her tiny little um, YSL uptown pouch. <laughs> yeah, okay guys, so as a little summary of this bag again, let me give you a close-up shot. So as you can see, it is made out of this beautiful, smooth, shiny calfskin leather. It does come with the antique gold, brush gold hardware. And yeah, it is just very plain at the back. There are no pockets, nothing. So it's just this really nice enveloped style clutch. This is the inside. Yeah, it's really hard to see anything. Oh, there we go. You can see a little bit. Um, but yeah, so let's get right into what fits in here. I'm gonna show you this um, from far away first and then we're gonna do some close-up shots as well. So um, I do have my phone here, so this is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, so I do know of course the Apple phones are bigger, but that's not a problem at all. There is so much space still once you put your phone in here. So yeah, there you can see it. My phone is in and you see how much more space is there on the right of the smartphone. So um, then I always have to take my always have to take my little Oyster card with me. I also have my other cards in this little card holder and I put this in on the side. And then you can see it's the perfect fit for both of these items. And then I have to take my keys, of course, so I do put them in here. Then I always, of course, take my eyeliner and also my MAC lipstick. And I just put these things on top. And yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. So there's still quite a lot of room. Um, so you would definitely be able to put more into the bag. However, so let's close this up. And you get an idea of how it looks like when the bag is stuffed. So you can see that there are some lines. So you can definitely see that there's something in there right now. However, there is still, like I said, there's still a lot of space. You could still fit more in. I just don't like to stretch my bag. So I guess that's a realistic idea of what I would take with me on a day when I take this bag out. So um, for those of you who have seen my review already, you probably know my little trick, so I'll just skip it. <laughs> um, but I do have this little nice golden chain. And let me give you a close-up of this beautiful chain. So I got this one from Topshop. There we go. <laughs> so I got this beautiful chain from Topshop and I really like the antique flair of it and all the little details. So yeah, I'm a big, big fan that I did find this. Um, somebody recently asked me how long this strap was and it's 130 centimeter, if that helps. <laughs> okay, so you take your clutch and you just put this metal string underneath and you close the bag up. And you then basically not only have a clutch, but you also do have a shoulder bag that you can either wear crossbody or over your shoulder. And um, I've said it before as well, so if you think that this is too long, what you could do is you just double it up. So you take the strap one more time, wrap it around the bag, 
close the back back up and you do have a little short shoulder strap <laughs> so yeah i'm a big big fan of like carrying this bag like this um, i think it does look pretty nice the gold hardware of the chain actually matches perfectly um, with the gold hardware of the bag and yeah i don't know i just really really like carrying the bag like this and um, so far i haven't had any problems so i don't have any marks or anything like that on the sides so as you can see yeah you would think that maybe it's gonna damage the bag here but yeah so far nothing has happened so it's pretty good quality um the leather of the bag and just the craftsmanship in general yeah pretty pretty happy with this so let's get into some of the close-up shots okay so here is the beautiful clutch bag and yeah i just wanted to show you guys that of course you can also just keep this strap inside the clutch um, because there is still quite a lot of room um, everything that's in here is just the stuff that i've just shown you and you can see how much more room there is on top of this so i guess it's a good idea to just keep this strap inside the clutch if you actually want to use it as a clutch but also if you still want to have the option of um, wearing this bag hands-free maybe later in the night and for that a shoulder strap comes in handy of course so we just put the strap on top of the bag and yeah there's still so much space okay so yeah everything is in this beautiful clutch right now and yeah there is still more space it's unbelievable so i kind of do understand my friend now <laughs> that you could actually fit in a second smartphone and i think it wouldn't even stretch the clutch um too much so it's definitely manageable <laughs> So yeah, like I said, so we do have my eyeliner that's in here. We do have the shoulder strap, yeah, and as you can see, the shoulder strap is magnetic. <laughs> so it likes to just stick to the magnetic closure of the bag. This is the second item. Then we have my keys. We do have my lipstick. And guys, I do... Is it focusing? No, it doesn't. Here we go. So this is my MAC lipstick and I love this color. Um, it's called Fabi. There we go. So yeah, I do really love this color. It's a frost lipstick from MAC. It's called Fabi and this is definitely my favorite, favorite color. <laughs> so yeah, we have that one in there. I do have my Oyster card as well as all my other cards that I need um, in this little card holder. And we do have the phone, of course, whoops, in here as well. It's pretty difficult to do this all with one hand. <laughs> um, so yeah, it is surprisingly spacious, I have to say. So all of this fits in without any problems and you could even fit in more. So yeah, pretty happy with this clutch. Who would have thought that? I mean, look at it. It's so, so slim. <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely a good choice um, for a clutch and especially for the price. So this clutch is only £300 and yeah, show me another designer clutch for that price. It's it's probably almost impossible to find something similar. I think it is um, $475 US dollar if you're interested. But yeah, so that hopefully gives you an idea. <laughs> Yeah, okay guys, so let me know if you have a YSL Uptown pouch in your collection and if so, which style did you choose? Um, I'm really, really in love with the newer version of this one as well. It came out in this beautiful, shiny, dark green crocodile embossed leather. If I find a picture, I will put it up here. <laughs> um, and yeah, I really, really do like that one a lot and so yeah it would be great to know which is your favorite version of this beautiful little clutch and also please let me know um, what your favorite way of wearing this beautiful bag is um, do you also prefer to wear it with like a strap or do you just use it as like an actual clutch and wear it the way it was intended <laughs> to be worn <laughs> So yeah, please let me know in the comment section down below and yeah, I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Join our little handbag obsessed family here. <laughs> we do understand your passion slash obsession. <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderful day and I see you guys soon. Bye!